Kelly thing, there is a sketch of you, there's notes on Mako Island, the full moon, the whole thing is on to you. We can't afford to mess around with this. We stay away from her. And when I say we, I mean you. You and Cleo have boyfriends and both of them know about you being mermaids. Why can't I? Because he's practically a stranger. No, he's not. Not to me. I, I get him. We have a connection. But he's not like any other guy I've ever met. Because he's probably the only guy ever that hasn't thrown himself at you. That is all. Don't mistake your feelings for anything else. No, it's more than that. Cleo and I have been covering for your mistakes all day. Uh, excuse me, I've been careful. I destroyed the shell. Oh, that was a present. Sophie was onto where it came from. Not even scuba divers can get deep enough to find those shells. How are you going to explain that? No. Look, this is beyond a joke. I'm not covering for you anymore. It's either him or it's us. Where did you disappear to before? One minute you were there and, and the next? We need to talk. OK. Talk. It was really great hanging out with you today, but... Where did you have to go that you could swim to faster than you could walk? Listen, I can't see you anymore. Why? I don't want to talk about it. I can't make you talk to me. But I wish you would. There are, there are so many things about you that just don't add up. I think you're reading way too much into it. The only time I've ever seen you go into the water, you disappeared. I know you're hiding something from me. But whatever it is, I'm not going to judge you. You can't run and hide forever. I know this big secret of yours has something to do with water. No. You're lying to me. No! I trusted you. I did try to stall her. It's okay, I fixed it. Yeah, but even with the show gone, Will is still a major problem. I had a bit of a chat to Bella about that, and I don't think she'll be seeing him again. We can't stop her from. Lying. It had to happen, Cleo. And she finally gets it. The important thing is, he will never know about us. I was nine years old, and we were living in Ireland at the time. My parents were busy, so I went exploring. And there was this place. I walked down by the ocean. At the bottom of the cliffs. drawn there, like, like I was looking for something, only I didn't know what. There was a cave. I felt so peaceful there, like, like I belonged.
I'm so sorry. I wish I could have told you, but... What about the others? Cleo and, and Ricky? Are, are they... No. No. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just me. I'm the only one. But they... They know about you? No, you're the only one that knows. We can keep this between us, right? I don't know. I need some time to think things through. I know you warned me and I tried, I really did. This is a disaster. He's gonna tell everyone. We'll end up on display at the Marine Park with Ronnie. No, you won't. He only thinks that I'm a mermaid. I think he'll figure it out. No, he asked me. I lied. I said I'm the only one. Thanks for protecting us. Please forgive me. I guess what's done is done. I'll fix it. I'll deal with it and you guys won't have to do anything. No. We're in this together. We'll fix this together. Well, I, really I didn't. I didn't tell her. We're just talking about this. It's like your special shell spontaneously combusting. Does this mean that you've decided to keep my secret? <sighs> Thank you. Thanks. I can get you another shell. Thanks for the offer, but I like the fact that it's a one of a kind. I'll catch you later. our secrets safe for now no he won't change his mind never say never no no he, he really won't he's a good guy he's a really good guy hey ricky that sketch that you saw of me what was it like oh here we go was it cute was it uh, unbelievable would you tell me <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what was i wearing oh, no come was on amazing would you tell me about. He's got training. He's always got training. And that's how you get to be good. But he should have other things going on in his life. I mean, he can't be happy training all the time. Other things meaning you, I suppose. No, actually, I just meant that he should have lots of things going on in his life. I know what you meant, and he's got lots going on. He's going to be a champion, and it's my job to see he's got no distractions. But it's his life. You can't make all of the decisions for him. Well, I've made this one. Are you finished already? Just taking a break. So you want to be a champion break taker, you take breaks. I hear you want to be a champion freediver, so dive. And as your guest coach, we do it my way or the highway. Guest coach? I know a little bit about spending time underwater, don't you think? How long was that? I don't know. You didn't pine? Tommy makes it so competitive. Well, it's a freediving competition, just so you can dive the deepest. Yeah, but you're competing against other people. The way that you're training, you're competing against the water. Because if I don't, it'll beat me. It's not trying to beat you. But the, the, the water doesn't have to be your enemy, it can be your friend. It'll work with you if you let it. Is that mermaid philosophy? That it is. Can you see what I mean? Kind of. But wouldn't it be better if you showed me? Hello, public place. There won't be anyone here for ages. Oh, I don't know. I don't Come know. Come on. Show me how the expert does it.
insane. That is so incredible. Yeah, I am. So you want to see how the experts do it? Uh, I'm coming. Don't worry, keep training. I'll bring him in. You all right? My sister's here. What? You can't let her see me. I roll this way. What? Hey! Sponsoring my brother. We'll see. Will, this is Rob Kent, the sponsor I was telling you uh, about. Potential sponsor, how are you doing? So, Will, show him your potential. Not right now, I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. Rob's a very busy man. Sorry, uh, but I need a break. You've, you've been pushing me pretty hard. And it's that kind of training that's going to make him a world champion. But we're not going to see any of it today. Yes, we are. Will, get in the pool. Pushing it to the absolute limit, remember? I already have. A bit temperamental. Elite athletes can be like that. He'll be fine by tomorrow. But I won't be here. Like you said, I'm busy. Rob, please. Rob, wait. He, he's just a bit. Sorry, I should have been more careful. Do you really think you'd won your sponsorship? Should have. But it was worth it to swim with you like that. It's incredible the way you change. It's magical. So I guess you'd better get back to Sophie and sort things out. Or, you know, we could go somewhere else really private to do some more swimming. underwater. The depths you can dive to. How long can you hold your breath for? I never tested it. It's so amazing to think that you can just swim like that anytime you like. Yeah, it's pretty special. But it must be so hard to have something that incredible and not have anyone you can even talk to about it. Yeah, it's tough, all right. Well, I'm really glad you shared it with me. It's the best thing I've ever done. So, we'll do it again? Yeah, definitely. Hey, it's your training buddy. Just wondering if time for a swim tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, and the afternoon too. Later on the week then, I guess. Oh, oh no, no, I, yeah, I understand. No, the, the championships, you have to train for them. But there's, there's no reason why your guest trainer can't show up occasionally. Well, actually, that's probably not such a great idea. Um, I really need to focus, you know, get in the zone. Oh, yeah, right, the zone. And I guess it's Sophie's call. Who gets to be in the zone with you? It has nothing to do with Sophie. But look, I'll uh, I'll get back to you later. Bye. Who was that? No one. There's no point in me being here. 
you putting in the training unless you're gonna put in the effort. Now give me another ten lengths. Hey. Feel tired. Early morning training. Now I guess that's life in the zone. So, are you doing anything? What happened to being focused? Doesn't mean we can't go for a swim for half an hour or so. <gasps> that long? I'm sorry about that call yesterday, but you've got to know, I, I can't get you out of my head. The way you fly through the water like it's part of you, it it's beautiful. Well, maybe, maybe we could go get a coffee first and then we could talk. <laughs> I want to see you swim. That's better than any talking. <laughs> yeah, but we could, we could get to know each other a bit better. I know you're a mermaid. <laughs> How much more do I need to know? Yeah, but that's not all I am. Well, of course not, but you've got to admit it is the most amazing part. I guess so. What's the problem? Um, you know, I think I think you're right. I think you should you should focus on your training. I'm taking a break. No, not not with me. No, you should um you should find Sophie. She'll be wondering where you are. to follow your instincts. If they're telling you you don't want to be around him, then... But that's not what they're telling you, are they? You guys were right. I... I really like him. Then why tell him to back off? Because he doesn't like me. I mean, he likes me, but not me, me. He... He likes the mermaid, the one that he can swim with. Then you did the right thing. But he knows my secret. I mean, I'm sure he won't tell anyone, but how will we know? I guess we won't. We've made such a mess. Welcome to the club. We've all told someone our secret and we've all worried about whether it was the right thing to do. Comes with being a mermaid. The important thing to remember, though, is that no matter how rotten we may feel, a mermaid always has a way of making herself feel better. Swimming. Cause I'm not